Let's see what we got. Get them out of the way. And then let's just dissect this bit off here. So how like a human eye is this? Whoa. Well, I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, this eye. And like us, there's a big cornea here. And then you see all that fluid under there? That's the anterior chamber. Okay. And then beneath that, we can see in there the pupil lens. Obviously, <laughs> we wouldn't normally have a bubble of air in there, but I've, I've nicked the cornea here. Oh, yeah. You can see the, the humor's coming out a little bit. But you know what? There is. This just feels a, a bit... Tori, have a squeeze of that. Now, that yeah. is something we definitely don't have. Yeah, it's pretty in rigid. There. Wow. Okay, that's hard. Like bone almost. Uh, really hard. Ring of <laughs> bone in there, I think. That's not like us. That yeah. there is a sclerotic ring. So mammals don't have sclerotic rings. Mm -hmm. But actually, these things are much more advanced than our eyes. The sclerotic ring is formed of interlocking bony plates that hold the shape of the eye in place. It anchors powerful muscles that alter the shape of the lens very quickly, allowing the eye to change focus in an instant. Guys, look at it in the flesh here. Oh, wow. Okay. And there, it's like an onion ring. <laughs> is your sclerotic ring. So the muscles will attach here, and as they contract, it's going to help it focus its vision much sharper yeah. than we'd be able to do that. These thin bones don't fossilize well. Few complete sclerotic rings have ever been found. They're very, very rare. I mean, I must say, of all the dinosaurs I've dug up and all the ones I've studied in museums, I mean, I can probably count the number of good sclerotic rings that I've seen on one hand. These sclerotic rings in a T-Rex has yet to be found, but in T-Rex's cousin, Tarbosaurus from Asia, we do have some specimens that show the same bony eye ring. Here we're going to have the lens and this bit here, the iris, and the iris controls the light levels getting into the eye. And then if we go through, look here, and can you see, oh, that's just magic. Look mm. at that, and that's, that's what they do, they slip out. That's exactly right. This is the lens, and just feel how lovely and smooth that is. It's just great. So the image is focused through that lens onto the back of the eye, onto the retina, and then through that, it travels down this thing here, the optic nerve, the massive data cable that powers it to the brain. Right in to what's called the optic lobes, these parts of the front of the brain where all of that information from the eye is processed. And in tyrannosaurs, those are really big. So that's another sign it had a good sense of sight. 